Hi guys, um, welcome back to the Gitana. My name is Abby, and today we're gonna go over um, uh, cardinal signs. Um, I'm gonna do a series before we get into shadow astrology, um, and then we start discussing the shadow side, like like more towards the negative side of your astrology placement. Um, my ultimate goal into doing this whole video series and stuff is for you guys to be able to like read your chart, um, yourselves, and really study yourselves and get to know yourselves and end up going through the transits and learning more about yourself um because i feel like that's really what astrology is is really a, st a study of yourself anyway so uh we're going to talk about cardinal signs first and then i'm going to do two more videos on mutable and fixed signs um so cardinal signs is four cardinal signs it's aries capricorn cancer and libra uh they're all cardinal in very different ways um that's something that we're going to talk about when we break them down but ultimately all of them are a force on their own and that's really what a cardinal sign is um so cardinal signs are really like the instigators of the zodiac um they're the ones that make stuff happen they want to get things going like if there's an idea like uh let's say i don't know you want to remodel the your house and you happen to have your fourth house which is like really the house of home and a lot a, more things but your house of home you have it in like a cardinal sign you have it in like an aries or you have it in uh cancer for um then you're really gonna be like okay let's do it like you, you, the way it's gonna affect your houses and the way it's gonna affect your planets um it really starts you start to notice certain things about yourself and where like there's areas that you won't have cardinal energy and that you're a little bit more calm or a little bit more relaxed to but there's some things that you will react towards based on where a cardinal sign will be in your chart which makes it really interesting um if you are a cardinal sun sign um or you have a cardinal moon, um, more sun than anything, but you will end up doing these things anyway. Um, it will kind of blend together with the rest of your chart really well. But for the most part, um, if you're a cardinal sun sign, uh, you usually end up kind of blazing through the thing anyway. If you have uh, a cardinal moon sign, emotionally, you're very much like, like let's go get to the point <laughs> like can we um <laughs> it's very much very and definitely the instigators definitely so very passionate very much uh making first moves like um they really just want to get to the thing um carnal signs kind of are really about reward whatever reward that means to them so whether it's experience or the time or like the physical reward monetary reward uh the achievement of the thing like um getting uh whether it's justice like if you're looking at libra um whether is uh emotional satisfaction emotional peace emotional well-being if you're looking at cancer um there's different ways that achievement or d they define achievement as each sign but ultimately there is a goal for each sign there is a an end point an end game that that's what they keep going towards um that's why they say capricorns are always there we we climb mountains we there's always a mountain to climb for us um which is always fun um but it's really like the journey is an experience but we also are very goal focused so where you see carnal energy or carnal signs in your chart is gonna have like a even it gets a, a little bit more of a boost than whether the uh, the than fixed signs or mutable signs are in your chart um just because it adds that extra mm to the whole entire thing. Um, so let's see anything else I want to add. I'm also, um, I have the Secret Language of Astrology book, which I'm also referencing in here. Um, because they wrote some really cool things in here. Uh, so but there's a whole bunch of books. Um, if anybody wants some recommendations or anything, just like email me. Um, let's see yeah I think I think I went over everything I mean there is a shadow side to each um carnal sign for sure uh, because determination and the wanting to get to the thing could lead to kind of and, and also this also depends on the rest of the plant like what else you have in your chart but there is negative ways that you can use carnal energy as well um it can very well 
cause you to do things that are very uh, hurtful to not only to yourself but to others because using that energy in that way is not necessarily a good thing. Um, you can hurt a lot of people just by being very brash and bold and like not caring about anybody else in the situation just then getting on your like end point. Um, so there are like shadow qualities to this um, and it does play out in both like in all all like fixed mutable but carnal as well um so you can use the energy wisely or you can use it like negatively um but we're gonna go over that <laughs> but for sure carnal energy is really cool to use because channeling that really helps ma manifest things really really quickly i would say if you're working with your carnal energy and you understand um your carnal qualities so like if you have cancer in a certain placement um understanding your need to work with the moon to manifest um if you have aries in a certain placement understanding your need to work with fire or like really you are you're fueling your own experiences and learning and stuff so uh there's different ways to use the thing like if you're a libra like have uh, libra heavy placements in certain areas you need to look at the way that you um embody justice because that's really what that sign is about it's about balance but it's also about justice in many ways so let's say you want it to be more justice towards you than other people which is what i usually find with libra sometimes not saying all libras but some libras have a imbalance of placement of how they um kind of embody justice so they end up like kind of I see a lot of them having just as much to themselves. So is there, if there's a time where they are, they could be fair to someone else, they won't and they'll be more fair to themselves, which is not what justice is. But that's kind of like how you use those scales. Um, so there is a shadow side to being a cardinal sign as well. Um, with Capricorn, it's definitely a stubbornness and definitely uh, kind of wanting to do things, you're climbing your mountain your own way. Uh, but sometimes understanding that we need to still learn the lesson and being kind of like rigid in some areas, like refusing to, like stubborn, refusing to change in some areas because we know it works or something. So, but we Capricorns more than Taurus, more than Taurus, because Taurus is a fixed sign, will change and transform a lot faster and better than a Taurus will because a Taurus will be way more stubborn. That's why they're fixed signs and will not want to change. Oh, I just got to him in here. Um... So yeah, so that's cardinal energy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. My Instagram and my links are going to be down there. Um, so yeah, have a good day.